Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimorosi Ruspas Mordechai. Over here, we have evidence of people who go to great, le- great lengths to get a free Gemara. The new recruits. It says like this the family is hooked, especially the nice Katava in the Ami, proof of the video attached and the pic attached. My Ruchi, two and a half years old, is getting familiar with the famous Truma. MDY chart. Thanks for all you do. Keep it up. Regards, Simon Stern, London. Okay. Rebelli, that's all I need to say. Thank you. Otherwise, you'd be reading for hours. Again, Rebelli, thank you. That's all I need to say. Otherwise, you'd be reading for hours, and I don't want to do that to you. LOL. Call Kavod. It's astounding. May continue. At least the for your mother. Aaron Zutler, Muncie, New York. We have from everywhere today. Bar Hashem. As one who has spent most of his life, let me just see if I skipped any. Yeah. From Bo- this is from Boca Raton. As one who has spent most of his life learning and having gone to several very good yeshivas, I'm very proud to say that my love for learning has never been stronger due in large part to Yashir and MDY. I've started and stopped in three different cycles of Dapiomi going back to my days in Kew Gardens Hills. And thank you. I'll be completing Shas this time around. Bez Hashem. Thanks to you. You have da, 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 exciting, alive. No matter what where they are, it's no coincidence. Uh, you are like a modern day Kalakavari in Shikoya. Josh Hirschberg, Montoya, Montoya Circle, Boca Raton. P.S. I already spoke to the powers that be and will and will Bezrat Hashem. Bezras Hashem, be trying to bring you to Boca Raton as a scholar in residence at RBS, uh, BRS. No, thank you. <laughs> when the weather cools off, of course, no fun coming to Florida. This time you're cold to Baruch J. For a year now, I always thought that the ADD quip was a throwaway joke. As an individual with ADD gift, I was slightly triggered every time it came up, as a sentence can sometimes be a lot to deal with. Bikitzer, what he's saying is that in the Ami interview, I say that I have ADD. I don't remember saying that, and I deny it. It's a big machlaikis. Everybody knows me, says I have it. I don't have it. But there's many other things that it says over there. Listen, it was a great article, and I like the fact that there's an article, and I'll show you why. If I have ADD or not, that's the, but he, now he's happy because I said I had ADD. Maybe I was thinking about something else and I just threw it out in the middle of the, I, I don't know. If your belly can push the boulder up the hill, why can't I? Why can't I finish shots? Why can't I spend my day learning? Maybe we'll start with 15 more minutes than last year. I might have been sitting where you could see me, but I was at the Sheer in Brooklyn and Bellsworth, Bell, Bellworks. Both were extremely difficult to sit through straight, but I traveled to both just to make a point that Tyra is mine too. It was a difficult concept for me to keep pushing for myself. After the Chizik of Shabbos, the Tyra is mine for the taking. Gemara is just as much mine as anyone else's. All right, so listen, if I gave the ADD guys Chizuk, I have ADD. I have a lot of other things. I just wanted to say thank you to you and your Talmudin that got me to join and encouraged me to keep it up. Closing first year, not missing one day, even with my gift. If I can do it, anyone can. Baruch J, Brooklyn. I think the gift of ADD also makes you super focused. That's why they say I have ADD. Oh, now, before you're all over the place. Now you're super focused. You're for sure you have ADD. Before you had ADD, now you have, no matter what you do, you have ADD. Everybody has ADD, Baruch Hashem. Oh, hold on. There's one more over here, I thought. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> No, I like this guy's house. It reminds me of America. You know, the vaulted ceilings, the, the fireplace. We live in these buildings, you know. But listen to this. By Yol Weichbrod. What TV? Is this a TV? Monitor. It's a monitor. What are you saying? Oh, get it. Get to the age. Today, a TV is nothing. They ask you, do you have a TV at home? And you say yes. They, they, you, you get into cheder immediately. It's the internet that's the problem. They do a test. What do you have? You have TV? Yes. Oh, gewaldic. It's a whole different story today. I read your article, it's very inspired. You said you jump in no matter what. Listen to this, Yoyo Weichbrod. If, just for this email, the whole army was worth it. So he said, I sent the article, jump in no matter what daf you're in. Didn't have a Gemara, so I found you on YouTube. That's it, he's in, from the article. And subject is, your Ami article inspired me. 
Okay, and Shafsi Khan says, I'm not sure where the source is not to sing in the three weeks. I was saying that B'tzibur, you shouldn't be singing. I'll, I'll try to find it for him. However, this year I understand for the first time in my life, he's a big time chacham, this Shafsi Khan guy. You know, he comes on to Shabbos. However, this year I understand for the first time in my life why it's us to learn Torah and Tisha B'av. After learning 300 daf with such kishmak, it's quite obvious why we must take a break on the saddest day. Shafsi Khan, Beitar. All right. Rabbi Yisai, here we go. We're holding today's daf chaf vav, and we're holding on the bottom of chaf hey on the bays. Literally two lines from the bottom. Verb chia maishna bain deloy. Oh, sponsors! I was supposed to do sponsors. Correct. Hold on. Uh, not so fast. Okay, the coil the sponsor. By Anonymous, for all the new people that joined the Masechta. We might have a very, very cool announcement tomorrow for all the new people that joined. There might be something very chashim. The Masechta is sponsored. Lili Nishmas Moshe Allah ben Nata Shalom and Lili Nishmas Yisuf Baruch ben Moshe Aaron and for that Tzlach B'chol and Yenim for my children. Masechta number two, Jeff Razler and Tzchus, my son. Yosef Simcha Chaim ben Sar Khan and Rafur Shleima. Parnas HaChodesh by the Lachim Loving Family is Lake New Jersey because Torah is the best. Sigula. Parnas HaChodesh number two, Shragi Chayfetz, RL149, as a schuz for my family, myself, and for the tzaddikim of RL Atzala. Parnas HaChodesh number three, Lilinishmas Zechariah ben Moshe, my favorite all-time sponsor. Three words, Zechariah ben Moshe. Parnas HaChodesh number four, Benji and Esti, Israel and family, in memory of our Zaydi, Moshe Menorah, and three cousins, Sarah Klein, Ricky, and Racheli Menorah, on the 12th yard side, the Nishon Moshe, all have an Aliyah Amen. Parasayoyim, happy anniversary, Avital Tova Akilov. Thank you for very much for everything. Love, Pinchas. Parasayoyim number two, it's unbelievable. People, they express their gratitude and the, the, the wives of the husband, doesn't, right here. Where else can you do it? Yorzai Rebeli, Yo, Moshe Ben Avram Yitzchok, Shizgal, son in law of Moshe Feinstein. Aaron Kessler, in honor of Yom and Kessler finishing Shisha Sidri Mishnah. I have to apologize. I don't know his name. Remember I called out one of the Kesslers two days ago? His brother was here. So he contacted Yossi. He says, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm in. I'm strong. So, whatever. Okay. I ask you, Mechila. Mevayashim Barabim. Mechila Barabim. Okay. So yesterday we were discussing if a father has the right, do we trust the father regarding his son? All of a sudden he pops up with this new kid. Nobody's at the bris. Nobody know what happened. Was he adopted? Where is he? No, he's a kayan. He's a perfect kayan. Give him an aliyah. So Adam Achlag is Rebbe Rebchia. Rebchia says a brother is believed about another brother, but not a father for a son. And Rebbe says the opposite. A father for a son, but not a brother for a brother. Says the Gemara, what would be the logic in the Svara that a father can't testify about his own son? The the last line on Chofei Yom Days. They're related, can't trust him. He's biased. So what about a brother? Says the Gemara, whole new understanding of this Machlechus. B'Messiach Lifitumoy. We're talking about the guy who was just shooting the breeze. He wasn't trying to testify, he wasn't trying to do anything. He was saying a Maisa Shahaya or a Maisa Shkamataya, whatever it is. And from the Maisa, you could learn something from it. And therefore, it comes out that there's no Machlaikis Bukhlal between Rebbe and Rebbe Chia. They're both saying the same thing. Maisa. Oh, Shmaka Maisa. There's a person just saying over a story. I remember when I was a kid and I was on my father's shoulder. And they took me out of the cheder. And they took off my clothing. Now, there's a whole... A lot of details in the story. Tysus points out one of the details. Why does it have to say that they took him out of school? Who cares where he was? They took him out of the house, out of the school. To show that he's not an Evid. You could do the same thing for an Evid. He could be Matbul and Evid. Put him in a mikvah. No. 
you don't you don't send the uh, you don't spend twenty thousand dollar tuition on Evan. That's for a kid, okay? And then what? Let's go through all the details here. First of all, it says Bidbiluni. Why do you have to be toivel a kid? It says Rashi because of the shratzim. Here on the chart, you see the shmoyne shratzim. Which one is the most tame or the main sheretz out of all of these? The <laughs> we're not we're not even going to say that over because we'll be closed down. Cancel culture. Making fun of the president of the United States. Hashem Yerachim. Okay, the leita, the lizard, is the number one. And if a kid who plays in the piles, the heaps of garbage, he might touch a dead sheretz, and it makes him tummy. So what do they do? They put him in a mikvah. And then, once you're in the mikvah, check this out, there's something called Herav Shemesh. Here's uh, Yossi Klan going to the mikvah. Oh, <laughs> if you go to the mikvah, if you go to the mikvah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I had Noam in there. I'm like, when was the last time you went to the mikvah? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I'm thinking now. My, I just heard this Misa yesterday. I didn't think it's Neget Tower Sugya. It is a shtickle Neget, but just like this guy is wearing his shoes, going to the mikvah in shoes. A, a guy, a, the bells told me this Misa yesterday. He said one. I did, but I was wearing everything. So yeah, no towel. I was I was learning. I have a picture of me learning in the mikvah. Whatever, that's for a different time. When I was in high school, no, fully clothed. Why not? For shtick, whatever. It was not. It was not a good shtick. Okay, I get it. That's why I never. I didn't bring it up. He's the one that brought it up. You saw the picture? Wow. Oh. Sitting in there, going like this. No, it's kedusha. Learning b'mloya kedusha. I don't. When I was 15 years old, I thought it was the right thing to do. I also have a picture of me in the shower. Fully clothed, but learn. I have a bag, learning. I learned it all. Dunking, I have one dunking. Bad man. Okay, fine. Yeah, we will. One day we'll make a video. <sighs> Can I find you these pictures? Actually, yeah, I do, but I don't want people to see what I looked like when I was 15. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, anyway. No, so th- this guy just last week, my sister you last week, a guy asked the Rav, could he, he's in the hotel. He asked the rabbi in the hotel, is, is it okay for him to go be toivel in the mikvah on Shabbos? The pro- so the Rav thought about it. He's like, okay, it's maim shuvim and tzchita. Yeah, it's okay. Then he finds out the guy went during regular hours when it was mixed swimming. And that was a shy. Like, could it, is tvila that important that you should go when it's mixed swimming? Okay, so is tvila that important that you go with your shoes on? Okay. That's not the sugi rabbi, so I forget that. Fuliyai means you go to the mikvah and you could eat chulin, you, you become tar. You have to wait until nightfall, until the sun goes down, until you can eat truma. Okay? Okay. Zog Gemara. This is the middle of the story. They took me out, they put me in the mikvah. And Reb Chia adds, and this is the same Reb Chia that we're talking about, Machleik is Rebbe and Reb Chia, And he, I heard the story also, and he added, he said, my friend stayed away from me. All he does, he eats chalas. In other words, he's a koi and he could eat. They started, they gave him a nickname. He's yoichen and oichel chalas. So based on this nickname, based on everything that's going on here, that he ate truma. His father took him out of cheder when he was a kid. Hello, Rebbe, Likuhuna al piv. Here we have Rebbe and Reb both of them, the two that are arguing, they're both involved in the story. And you see the idea of Messiah Lifetuma, the top words of the Amun. Messiah, a person who just saying over his story, he's not, he's not coming, hey, I need an Ali, I'm a Kayan because my father took me out of cheder. He's just saying, you know, an interesting story when I was a kid, my father came, grabbed me out, they, they dunked me in a mikvah, and I, then I ate challah. Which is only for a kain. So you see, that's the idea. So a father who's Messiah Levitumai, a brother who's Messiah Levitumai, is believed for that brother. Tanya Rabbi Shimon ben Allah Zer Oimer. Kesheim Shetrum Chazaka Lekuhuna, Kach Maisa Rishain, 
Chazaka lekuhuna. Just like truma, if a person eats the two percent of the crop, he gets the two percent. It's a raya that he's a kayan. So let's go to the chart again. It's kedai. That's what that two-year-old was doing, learning this chart. Two percent goes to the kayan. Now they have ninety-eight percent left. It's at least two percent. There's a different shiurim. You can do minimum, max, maximum. It could be one barley. One grain is also enough midday rice. Okay, but they're allowed to give two percent. But ten percent of the ninety-eight percent that's left, you give ma'aser rishon to the levi. From the ten percent that the levi gets, he gives ten percent of what he received to the kayan. We're not talking about trumas ma'aser. We're talking about ma'aser rishon. Ma'aser rishon. It's not that scary. Says the Gemara, if a kayan eats ma'aser rishon. It's a rai is a kayan. What does it say on this chart? Who gets maiserishon? A levi. If a kayan eats maiserishon, it's a rai is a kayan. What's going on here? Says the Gemara. Vachoylek. By the way, there's a famous uh, vitz. We have to say it because I didn't say all of them. The, the Cohen brothers tell you telling how the Cohen brothers in collusion didn't say fine. We'll talk about that different time. But there's a guy that was very jealous of the kayanim. He always wanted to be a kayan. He, that was his dream. Kayan. So finally he goes to another city for Shabbos and um, he, he thinks to himself, if they come over and ask him, he's going to say he's a kind. Why not? Chaperayin a little bit. So the guy by, right before Christmas says, says, uh, any of the guests, Kahanim? Nobody raises their hand. He says, oh, this is my opportunity. Finally, I get kind. Yeah. He says, okay, come here a second. He says, listen, do me a favor. There's uh, three guys with the yard side. Can you step outside? <laughs> okay. Now, if Bezdin gives him the truma, we'll see what that means exactly. That's not a good raya that he's a coin. Just because Bezdin did it. So what is a good raya when, when, when individuals do it? Says the Gemara, ask the Gemara. What are you talking about? If he eats Maiserisha in the 10%, that's a raya he's a levi, not that he's a coin. No. Here's the Pasuk. The 10% goes to a Levi. It says in the beginning of the Pasuk. That's how Rebbe Kiva Darsh in the Pasuk. Simple. Levi gets Maiser. However, Rebbe Loza Ben Azari Oimer, Maiser Rishoin, Likoyen. Maybe take out the word af, maybe. They take out the word now, for now. We'll put it in a second. Says the Gemara, He doesn't say that it's only to a koyen. He doesn't say that the word, cross out the word halavim and stick in the word koyen. What he's saying is, because you could say such a thing, there's 20 something times in the Torah and the, that, that, that it, the, it's, a koyen is called a levi. Fine. The Torah says that a levi gets miser. Rebbe Lazarus Benazar says you could also give it to a kain if you feel like it. But it's not a raya just because he eats miser that he's a kain. Maybe he's a levi. We still don't have a raya, asked the Gemara. Says the Gemara. In. Yes. It's only to a kain, not to a levi. Basar the Kansinu Ezra. Once. Ezra gave the Levim a What happened? Ezra was going up with Klai Yisrael, 40,000, and the Levim didn't go with him. So he said, okay, you guys, you're not coming with us. You get a knas. You're going to lose your Miser from now on. Okay, so they don't get Miser. Oh, Vidilma Ikru Vyahavulei. So how do you guys understand this, the Gemara's Kasha? Maybe it'll happen that somebody will give him to the Levi. Meiser. But the, he's not supposed to. Ezra said, don't give the Levi Meiser. So what do you mean? Maybe somebody will be over. And for that, there's no riot that he's a Kayan. Again, if I have Meiser, I give it only to the Kayan. Why? Because Ezra said, Rebbe Lazar said, you give it to the Kayan and the Levi. Ezra came along and said, let's punish the Levi. They didn't, they didn't come up there to stroll. By the way, I don't know all the people in Chutz Laris now. I'm a big talker because I'm here. I don't know what punishments they get. If you're a Levi, Meiser. If you're an American, you have a big mansion, the nice car. Huh? You gotta be careful. You better come up here quickly. So, 
So the, the Kayan gets it also, but they took out the Levi. And now the Gemara asks, but maybe just because a guy gets mice, it doesn't mean he's a Kayan, because maybe somebody made a mistake. No, that's what it seems like. Shot is that if there's no Kayan around, then you could give it to a Levi. What are you going to do? Burn it. So you give it to a Levi. So the Gemara says, I don't have a Raya from the fact that a guy got miser. I don't have a Raya. He's a Kayan. Maybe there's no Kayan around, and they give it to the Levi. Or Rav Chizok my skin on Kigoyin, the Muchzak Glom, Ba'avu Adahai, the Kainu. There was a Chazaka, we have a Chazaka that the father is a Kain. He already established the fact that he's a Kain. Unafak Alei Kala, the Ben Grusha Ben Chalutsu. And then there's a rumor that the father married a divorcee, so therefore the son is a Chalo. A Chal has a Lacha of a regular Yisrael. The Chalkulei, oh, you just scream out Levi. Question, if a Kayan has a son, a Chalo, what does he become? He becomes a Chalo. <laughs> he becomes a Yisrael. Okay. The Chalku Levi today, my Yisrael is a Gronis. Ask the Gemara, Levi, why don't we say he's a Levi? The Lav Levi you. He's not a Levi. Why? Because he's a Kayan. But why doesn't he step down? Why isn't the Kayan... Very good question, no? Could a Levi become a Chalo? No, never. A Levi cannot become a Chalo. So if a guy is a Kayan and he marries a Grusha, so his son becomes a Chalo, why doesn't he become a Levi? Why does he step down from a Kayan to a Levi? Isn't every Kayan a Levi plus? So the answer is, no. A Kayan is in his own category, his own little Shevet. He's not a Levi plus. But if that's the case, why does the Torah some, sometimes call a, Levi, a Kayan a Levi? Because within the Kayan, he's also, he has, he has a little bit of Levi in him, but he doesn't step down to the category of a Levi. That not. I'm just saying over Minchas Chinuch. Okay? Because he said, he screamed out that he turns into Levi. I just want to point out, he doesn't turn out to a Levi. He turns into a Yisrael. A, a Ben Grusha of a, of a Kayan turns into Yisrael. So Levi, the love Levi, his father's a Kayan, he's not a Levi. Ma'ikil and Meymar, Ben Grusha Ben Chalutzu. So, you're going to tell me that he is the son of a divorcee or a Ben Chalutza. What's a Ben Chalutza? <laughs> I already brought it, might as well talk about it. If a guy, <laughs> right? If nobody did Yuvamas, this is very interesting. This is the real. $2,000 shoe of a chalitza, a real deal. If a guy dies without children, so his brother either marries his wife, his sister-in-law, or that sister-in-law, if they decide not to get married, he decides not to get married, she removes his shoe, and today they have to wear such a shoe, and the reason why it has all these holes is so that these straps could touch his skin in the back, etc. Okay. Shah, don't ruin my $2,000 shoe. We'll paint it. Yeah, it's supposed to be white. It's better if it's white. Somebody sent me, I should have brought a picture. He's sitting over here. I don't want to embarrass him. He sent me a picture of a Bezdin. Where was the Bezdin? Ephelata. I just saw him. Here he is. Ephelata. Yushalayim. Yushalayim. With 10 pairs of shoes, of Khalid's shoes. It says size this, size all the sizes, because it has to fit well. Very interesting. Says the Gemara, Ben Grushu, Ben Chalutza, Loi. Ben Grushu. Says the Gemara, Loi me by, Loi me by, Lamando Amar, Maiserish, and also Lazarim, the Loi Havu, the Loi Havu, you have a lay. So, certainly, according to the Mando Amar, that you cannot, if you're Yisrael, you can't eat this 10% Maiserish, certainly you're not going to give it to him. Ela Fila, Mando Amar, Maiserish, and Muta Lazarim. Even if you hold, and that's basically what we hold, no? I think. That Maiserish, yeah. My Surisha and Yisrael could eat, eat from it. He could eat from it. That's okay just to eat from it. Nobody ever will say that you're allowed to give it to him in the first place. You give it to a Levi. And then when the Yisrael eats in his house on Shabbos as a guest, the Levi gives him some. That's according to that man, you're allowed to eat my Surisha. But nobody would say that you go to the Yisrael's house and stick out your hand and it gives you 10% miser because you're Yisrael. Of course not. So from the fact that he's eating this miser, what's the raya? That he's a kayan. 
Levim were punished. So if Bezdin that we learned, that if Bezdin are the ones who distribute the Miser, then it's not, it's not a truma, it's not a riot that he's a Kayan. I mean, if, <laughs> there's nothing stronger than a Bezdin. No, they decided he's a Kayan. We're talking about they're dividing up the inheritance, the Yerusha. And they come to Bezdin, and Bezdin says, You take this, you take that. That's not a Chazaka, Pshita. He deserves it. No? If they're divvying up, there's 100 pounds of grapes, and there's three brothers, each one will get 33%. I mean, it's his, he's entitled to it, no? the same Maybe they shouldn't give it to him. Why should they give it to him? Because it's a bazillion to give truma to achala. What is he going to do with it? He's going to start selling it? No, we want to give it to somebody that's going to eat it. And the fact that Bezdin gave it to him, that's a ride that he's a real kayan. Kamashal no. Hi, Lizabuni. I don't know the reason. Maybe there's not enough to, to give around to everybody. And we had maybe the father. <coughs> excuse me, only left him 100 pounds of grapes and no other nechassim. And that's the only thing he gets to take. So you can't say, oh, he shouldn't take it because it's a bazain. He need, if there's other assets, fine. But maybe in a case, there's no, based on the Rishayim, on the Ritzvah. So Melo, no raya here that, that he's a kind. So Nachamal, you ask me how come Bezdin is not a raya? Because they're just dipping up the nechassim, nothing to do with Kaihanim, Yisrael. They're just saying every brother gets something in Shalom Yisrael. We have a four machlagis in the Mishnah. Rabbi Yudin in the Mishnah says, we don't use Eidechad, we do use Eidechad. Rabbi Shem Gamliel says the Gemara, the last line in the Mishnah seems to be redundant. It seems to say the same shita as Rabbi Elazar. Rabbi Shem Gamliel, Haina Rabbi Elazar. Vichiteima, Irchad, Ikibinayu. Maybe the machlagis between Rabbi Shem Gamliel and Rabbi Elazar is if one person comes to dispute what's going on here. One person says he's not a kind. The Rebbe Laza saw by your chad. Rebbe Shem Gamaliel saw by your tray. Rebbe Shem Gamaliel holds. You need at least two people to dispute. Not one. Says Gemara, Rebbe Yochan, on the Rebbe Yochan, in your Pachas Mishnah. That can't be. Everybody, Rebbe Yochan, in explaining the Mishnah, explains that everybody holds that you need two to make a fuss. One is not enough. So that can't be the Machlaikas. Elohim HaIskinon, check this out. Oh, chart time. So step one is that this kid was born to a Kayan. So this kid has a Chazaka that he's a Kayan. So we're starting off with a Chazaka. Okay, check this out. Now, step two is that a guy made a rumor that he's the son of a Grusha. Okay, it's a rumor. There's a rumor flying around the city. We don't have uh, Aden, we don't know what's flying, but there's a rumor. So... So now he comes down from his pedestal. Until now, he's a coin. Now we knock him down. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta look into it. What's going on here? Then a dechad comes, Reuven comes and says, I know for a fact that he is a coin. Okay? So we put him back on the pedestal. He's back. He's a coin. That his mother's not a Ben Grusha. That he's a, he's a full fledged good coin. Then two Adem come and they say that he's puzzled. So. They knock him down from the pedestal. It's not enough. Then comes Eidechad and says that he is a kind. So they're not brothers. What are you talking about? Who told you the brothers? It's a new. It's a new mesechta. <laughs> I was chayshish that for a second. No, because it's Reuven and Shimon. Reuven and Shimon is great. Okay. The boys, I they're right over here. You see the standing. The two of them are right over here. I'm just letting Gershon zoom in on them. Here, show your faces for a second. That way, I don't know. Here, that's one, two. Here we go. Shkoya. Okay. So, oh, by the way, I just realized a big, a big fashla. I When I said one day that if anybody has the cutouts, please bring them back. So people started sending in the ones from Bellworks in New York. That's not what I was talking about. Those are fine. Keep those. The giant, the, the, the 200 shekel ones, the, 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 the ones here in Eretz Yisrael, if somebody has the real ones, we, we would like them back. Fine. Zog the Gemara. So, time out. Back to the, back to the chart. So look, what, look what's going on here on the top. 
We have number one is a chazaka. Number three is a edechad. Number five is a edechad. So if we combine number three and five, we have two edim versus the two edim on the bottom. We have two against two. So why should two against two win? Because the two on the top have something called the chazaka. Also, in addition to the edim, they're chazaka. We once learned that that doesn't really work, so it's a shayla here, why? Like if it's two against two, the, the two strongest things in the world are fighting each other, they can't tell each other out, you can't bring a little, a little guy, uh, a rumor, a chazaka, fine. But over here, that's what the Gemara is understanding. Huh? They're not passling, they're saying he's a... Uh, the... Not Zaymim, it's a kasha. It's like, he is a Ben Grusha. I, I don't know where, Zaymim means Imano Yisem. You were in this hotel on that day, you can't testify when he was born. You're saying you were there at the birth. And that. No, you weren't. That's a zoma. Over here, they're just saying a fact. Now, here's a different Shiloh. Do they, do they combine? What Ruvain knows and what Shimon knows might be two different things. He might have been at the wedding and he might have been at the birth. I don't know what they know. It's different edos. That's what we're going to discuss it for a second. It's about the same thing. Correct. The, correct. So let me ask you a question. He's saying that this is about the same thing. So let's say you witnessed alone, you saw Avi give him, well, you're his brother, you saw that guy give him $100. And then you also heard that guy say that another aide heard that guy say that he owes Avi 100 He wasn't there by the loan. At the end of the day, they're both saying that so-and-so owes so-and-so money. But they're saying two different things. You, were at, you witnessed it in July, the loan, and he, two years later, heard from the guy, is that the same? Is that, could you combine? That's the Shiloh. Yesterday, after Shir, he asked me a question that I was thinking about during Shir, because as I was saying it, yesterday we were learning about uh, the matanas. The picture was me giving the matana to Yedidya Kramer. Yedidya Kramer is Yisrael. So I was thinking to myself as we were learning, he's like, wait a minute, he's Yisrael. The Gemara says, if I give a matana to Yisrael, then he's certainly a Kayan. What's the Raya? Even a non kayan who's married to a kayhenes could receive it, so it's not a right that he's a kayan. So after this year, of course, he came over and asked me this great kasha. So I brought it to the koyal, and they were, wow, that's a great kasha. And then the bells are founded in Mesech the Shabbos, in the Yudom and Beis, in the Taisus. I said, how do you find this? He said, no, because inside the Gemara it says Shabbos Dav Yud. I don't know, I think it does. Let's go back. The kids are, it's there. And Taisa says that in you have to say, like he gave it with the Lush, you are a Kayin. It's a little bit of a talk. Yeah, okay. That's a, it's a good Kasha. And so Goldstein asked me the Kasha this morning. So it's a good Kasha. Very good Kasha. Okay. Zagdi um, Gemara. Here we go. So here, let's see the story inside. Two lines from the bottom. We have a chazaka as a number one that he's a kain. We, we heard a rumor that, today, that he is a ben grusha ben chalutza. So it's a rumor. They say that today we have phones without wires and cars without drivers. But we don't have smoke without a fire. So a coil, if you have a call that something happened, then there is a digital fire in there. Look, look into it, you'll see. Okay. But a call, a call is a powerful thing. It's a rumor, but it's only a rumor to the point where Bezin say, let's put this guy on hold. We're not going to pass him based on a rumor, but we'll lower him We'll bring him down from his pedestal. Let's see what's going on here. And comes a Edechad. Ruven over there, number three, says, I know for a fact that he's a kosher Kayan. Before I forget to say this, Reb Chaim Kanievsky, I thought this is Gavaldic based on what we were saying yesterday. Is there an Indian to hear Birkris Kahanim for more than one Kayan? Why? Different than what you would think. Says Rukhaim Kanievsky, there's more of a chance that there's a kosher Cohen between them. Emes, <laughs> Emes. Vaskinu. And they put him, they brought him up. And then come to Edim in, in, in the fourth box, in step four. And they said that he's a Ben Grusha again, and they brought him down. Comes 
Shimon in five, and he says he's a Kayan. Now we're holding, we're in the position that you could combine three and five to make them one unit of testimony of Eidos, and they and there are two Eidim. So what's the question? What is this? Bezin is a yo-yo? They take him down, they put him up, they take him down, they put him up. It's not right. Bezin is going to, they're going to look like fools. We have to have a little respect for Bezin. Oh. Let's just finish this for a second. Tanakam says, once you bring him down, don't bring him up. We have to be concerned there. No, we have no problem. This is Allah, Allah. We, we heard a rumor. We brought him down. We got an Yedechel. We bring him back up. We turn to Chavav Amit Bey, sponsored by Moshe Horn, in honor of Zach, the Rock, Rocklin, and Lenny Learn and CPA. Bezer Hashem. They're going to finish us together with us. And Yaakov Cohen, the official MDY MSP. By Uri Newman, in honor of Rebellion, the, great, the real greatest Jewish basketball player who ever lived. Zog the Gemara, Maskiv Loravashi. If you're choishish for Zilus and Achish for Zilus, Yochi, Afilu Tre Tre, Nami, check out this Shahar. So, why are you saying that Shimon came by himself and we're going to add Shimon to Ruvain, even if it's a powerful Eidos, a real Eidos, two? It's still two against two, and we're choishish for the Bezayna Bezin. We put him up, then we took him down. Then we bring him up again, because another two them come. So why, why do we say that's a case of one aid? El Omar Ravashi, Bimitstar from Laidus, No, everybody will agree. We're not, we're not, we're not concerned about the, the Bezoyin of Bezdin. We'll bring him back up. If the Allah says to bring him back up, we'll back up. It's Rabbi Shim Gamliel who says, we'll see in a second, it's another mach like this. I'm sorry. Uh, could, can we combine? Going, let's go back to this case. Can we combine Reuven and Shimon? Are they one? Eidos. Like a similar mach like this, the Sanyo. That's the case I was talking about before. When you have a guy that testifies, I saw Reuven lending money to Shimon. So Shimon owes money based on this one aid to Reuven. That's only one aid, it's not enough. Comes another aid, says Levi, I heard with my own ears that Shimon said that he owes $100 to Reuven. So now you have two aid him, but they saw different things. But at the end of the day, they're trying to say the same thing. They're both saying that Shimon owes $100 to Reuven. So now we have a machlaikas. They saw the same thing. They're testifying about the same thing. So by us also, what Reuven and Shimon are testifying is two different things. Maybe Reuven is saying that he was with a Grusha, her name was Rivka, and, and then Shimon is saying he was with a Grusha named Leah. Who told you? So what? But they did two separate acts. I don't know. Okay, no, that, that what I just said is wrong because it's one mother, but okay. I hear. You're asking very good conscience these days. Fine. All days. Not these days. All days. We're going we're gonna to promote you from Mr. Machlaikas guy to Mr. Gukashi guy soon. Okay. So that's... So by us also, Reb Shimon Ben Gamliel, they say, is the one that says that the second one is mitzvah with the first one. And Mehecha Tesis Reb Shimon Gamliel, I saw a very cool thing that there's a Gemara in Baba Basra that says that anytime you bring another Tana, just a Klal and Shas, you bring another Tana, the other Tana adds to the first Tana. So therefore, Reb Shimon Gamliel, who's the last in the Mishnah, he's adding to the one right before him. He's saying, you could add, you could be mitzvah with the two Edim. It's not vice versa. It's not Reb Lazar says you could add two Edim. That's how the Gemara, that's how we know. Okay. But now we have another machlaikas that's directly related to our machlaikas. So here it says, you need the two Edom to be there together. Have you ever thought about it? What do we have in Yiddishkeit? Every single week, 
Eidos that we have to be together. Very good. Vayichulu. So a lot of times you finish Monastery, not with everybody else. So you say to somebody, could you say Vayichulu with me? Because you're saying testimony. You're saying testimony on Maisa Bereshis. Were you at Maisa Bereshis? Yeah. Our Nishamas were at Maisa Bereshis. So you have to be together here. We're like this man, the Omar. You, have to, yeah, you can't just say, oh, I said in my Shemun Esrei, there was five minutes after that guy Shemun Esrei, and I'm in Stair. What? what? Adam was created after my Esrei, so the Shamas were in Adam. Who said? What do you mean? Who said the Shamas were in Adam? What are we saying? My yeah. Esrei is before. No, it's part of my Esrei. Adam is after my Esrei? The end of the end, but it's still my Esrei. Oh, you're saying, how did the Neshama see all of my Esrei? the end. They came with the other ones. Maybe they were all in the guf. They were in the shamash of the guf. Or they just wanted They weren't even there. Right. What are you saying, Menachem? <laughs> they were right before Vaychul. They're testifying on what on Vaychul? Okay. You're saying they weren't, they're not testifying the, on the sun and the moon. Okay, fine. Says Gemara, Reb Nason, Oyme, Shomim, Dvar, Shoze, Ayoim. He's Mukhulik. Says Reb Nason, I, I hear this guy's testimony today on Wednesday, on Thursday, you could, ha- you could listen to both of them together. Reb Nason would be related to Reb Shimon Gamliel in our mission. That the Eidos doesn't have to be literally at the same time. You could hear one aid here and one aid another day. Says the official Mishnah, sponsored by Moshe Cohen for Hatzlach and Limanat Torah and Parnasa. A woman who was even, now we're going back, we're not talking about a, a wife of a kind, it could be even the wife of Israel. She was in jail. It seems like jail might be a little bit different than captured. Aidei Maman, according to Rashi. For monetary, she didn't pay taxes, she's in jail. Now, do we have to be concerned that they violated her in jail? So it depends. If it's for monetary reasons, they're not going to violate her. They're, they're, they're scared. What are, if they violate her, then he's not going to pay his taxes. He's going to come to court and say, look, look what they did to my wife. So, Memela, she's mutter. Mutter is the Bible. Once they say, they give her a psak, that capital punishment, she killed somebody, whatever it is, or she stole something, she shoplifted in those days, they'd kill them. Asur the Bible. So here's a tremendous chadish for boy say, why she also the Bible says Rashi, because we're so concerned that she was violated so many times that maybe one of those times she did a Baratzan. The Rishonim said different Shatamir. Maybe she just got used to it. She, one time was already Baratzan. Or maybe she figured she's never going back to her husband anyway. She's already, she, she's, she's dead. So it's Baratzan. So we have to be concerned. Nefashas, Baratzan is very big. Chid- over here that the Bailas need them the mothers. Huh? The Bailas need them the mothers and Mavkir and I saw. If her husband was need them the mothers. Really? That's a shot. Yeah. Interesting. Mafkir my saw because he's. Yeah, it says, right. it says It says She was. He's she was Nikhbash. Okay. Rashi, Rashi, let's see. I swear by the Lord, and I will have Kirchhoff Shim Nisrazi Bechamem. And what are you saying? Nisrazi Lahavsi. The right is Lahavsi Mamoyna, very Mafkir no saw, either for the choice in Idolis Lamos, Rashi says. She is choice in Idolis Lamos. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so we'll see. Yeah, okay, that's another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's something else. I don't know that's right over here. Okay. If they they rule us, then we have a problem. I'm sorry. If we are on top of them, then we have a distinction between mom and nefashas. This is a Lashon Nikia, sort of a, like a Saginar, uh, uh, if they are tough with themselves, meaning on us, they're not scared of anybody. The whole, the whole Svar is that they're scared. They're, they're going to be careful. Oh, they're not going to be careful with her. And Mimela, she's also to her husband. A new concept in Shas. Hurano, what's this? It's a Meshuggah concept. If somebody owes money, he gives his wife to the, to the lender as collateral. Here, take my wife. If he doesn't pay, then he can do whatever he wants. Meshuggah. <laughs> Talk for yourself, Avi. 
Veidel mi idim oiso shalei nister shalei nitma. Now she has idim that nothing happened to her. They were there. They saw the whole thing. Never, they never touched. Varmel chachamim imatema minim shur ano eminu shalei nister of shalei nitma. If you believe them, we have a pesha asar. You believe these Aidim, who told you that it was Hurana? This crazy collateral story happened. These Aidim. So you have to believe for everything. Now what's happening here is, the Rishonim say over here, that these are not, not real witnesses. Because if you have real witnesses, we believe them. These are Avadim. Avadim are believed when it comes to captured women. So they didn't want to believe. But Ashkelon, the Adlai B'Kicham Takif Al Atzman. But Ashkelon is a city where the Gaim rule, Uktani Hurana in Nechbasha Loi. You see, there's a difference between Hurana and Nechbasha, because when they capture a woman, it's not necessarily true that they're going to violate her. But Hurana, that's what it means. Hurana. If you don't pay up, she becomes the other guy's wife or whatever. So for that you need Edom. For Nechbesha you don't need Edom. Because they're not going to touch it. Says the Gemara, no. Who had dinah filo Nechbesha? No, you can't be Medai. The whole story over here was a story of Hurana. And the Edom came and we said, but in a Maybe perhaps the same Allah would happen by Nechbesha. Have a wonderful day.